What's up? I'm back. I wanted to make this video for my dude Slightness D92 who had asked me this question about um, pretty much wanting to know like how exactly I was able to make the money and to, you know to, to basically get out of that nine to five mentality and also be able to travel the world and still make money. He wanted to know what, what type of businesses I was into. So I'm making this video to address that. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and um, hit the subscribe button. All right. So basically, um, I'm going to basically just start from the beginning. Like, I moved out of America about a year and a half, two years ago. And I lived in Asia uh, for a year and a half, right? And in this whole period of time, I've been to several countries. I've been to Malaysia, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to uh, South Korea, I've been to Hong Kong, Shanghai, um, you know. And so in, in, the, in this period of time, I probably was wondering, like, uh, look, like how how was I able to survive and make money? Did I just go over there with like fifty thousand dollars or what? And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't have a whole lot of money when I left. I actually left with about fifteen hundred dollars in my bank account. But there was a really good reason for why I didn't have that much money, and that's because I make money online. And I'm explaining to you what type of business I have and what type of stuff I do to make money online, and why I wasn't so worried about only going over there with the little bit of pocket change that I had. Most times if you travel overseas, you probably should have like 20,000 to 10,000 at least in your bank account. But I only had 1,500 when I went. So basically, I have a freelancer account um, with Freelancer and I was also with uh, Fiverr.com. So I was, I was doing uh, digital marketing for people. I was also trying to build up my brand, TuneHype.com, which is a, a music marketing company. So I do social media marketing for music people. You know, like rappers, singers, whenever they drop a new music video, I'm the reason why the video views are shoot up so high. I'm the one helping them get comments and likes. If they drop some songs on uh, SoundCloud or Spotify, I'm helping them get their video views up to 100K, 200K, 500K. You know, I do that type of stuff for people who sign with labels and people who trying to get signed with labels. On another note, I got a company. Um, I also have another company that's very similar to the same thing. I do it for software companies or I do it for businesses, just all businesses in general. I help them get targeted customers for their uh, business. So if somebody is trying to, um, you know, uh, jumpstart their online brand or they have a, a business with a physical location, I help them target customers online and drive traffic to their website or to their business. So these, this type of stuff you can do anywhere in the world. Um, I was able to do that for the most part um, to generate money. And that's how I make money. That's like my catalyst. I make money from that. You can easily bring in, like I said, like somewhere between um, 70 to 100K a year with even just one brand like that, uh, digital marketing or doing marketing service or even just freelance or stuff. I mean, on Fiverr, I made $25,000 off of Fiverr in just three months. After those three months was up, I ended up trying to drive that traffic to my own website because I felt like all Fiverr had to do was shut me down. And that's exactly what they did. At some point, they ended up pulling the rug from up under me because when I was overseas, I had made my girl a Fiverr account and I broke terms of service because they said, you're not supposed to have two accounts. And it was really her account. And they ended up closing my good account with all the reviews. So since then, I decided I'm not even going to rely on these third-party companies. I'm just going to go ahead and build my own customer base on my own website. And then that's when I came up with Millions by Nephew, the brand where it's just me. I'm being myself, and I'm just, like, using my status online to, like, bring people in. Um, you know, bring in customers and bring in clients so I can work on their projects and stuff like that. But for the most part, what you can do, what a person can do, um, is pretty much do anything you can to start a business online, whatever business you think you can do online. That's that's pretty much what made it possible for me to travel like that. And this channel right here, what we doing right now, if you if I don't know if you subscribe, but make sure you hit that subscribe button if you made it this far in the video. What this channel is about is day trading and like bringing in another income from having dividend income, which is stocks and stuff like that. So I started really trying to show you all this part of the income stream because you know it doesn't really matter what you do to earn 40 50 60 70 80 thousand a year but what you do with that money is more important so like once you get 
you know, 30 to 80, 90,000 a year online, you know, once you know you got that kind of income coming in, or even if you can't make that money online, just as soon as you know you got that money coming in, start investing in stocks and investing in um, dividends because once you start building your dividend portfolio, you can get to a point where you got a passive income. I also, you know, I also made music before. I, I used to be an artist, a big artist. Um, decent sized artist, so I have a decent fan base, and I still get residual income from the songs that I released back then. So I got so many different passive incomes. I'm gonna have to make another video about that. But that passive income helped me to stay overseas for that year and a half. So like, right, if I was to run out of money or something like that, probably a music check would come in. If uh, all else failed. Some YouTube money would come in if I needed to buy something to eat or pay a phone bill. If something else, if you know, if I had to pay the rent when the rent was due by then, I'd be then got another client. Um, and so it's like it was a constant flow of passive income that just not just passive because some of it obviously I have to work to get the money, but just the simple fact that the money was coming in from online allowed me to be able to stay and live anywhere in the world. So I want to make sure that on this channel, you guys know how to do that. There are so many ways you can do that. Um, let me know in the comments below what type of ideas you have, or what it is that you do. Um, and we can figure out like, like things that you like. I might even try to give you an idea of how you can make money with that online. Just in the comments below. Because I do this stuff so much. I help a lot of people start their online businesses and help them grow their brands. And if you want to be able to at least have some type of income, like $1,500, $2,000 a month is the kind of income you need if you want to travel uh, and not have to worry about going back home. You don't need a whole lot. You just need at least a little bit. And then once you get over season, you find out how blissful and, you know, how peaceful it is to live like on an island or how, how it feels to live like or like all of this traveling and stuff. It just it really clears your mind from all of the you know, the negativity that you might have received from your family or your friends, you know what I'm saying? So it's like when you when you finally get this time to yourself and you do got two thousand dollars that you know you're going to get three thousand a month that you know you're going to get regardless. And you don't have to really stress out about where the money going to come from. That's when you can really grow. That's when you you know, that's when you can really, really grow. That's when, you know, you start adding more income streams and you think of more ways to make more money because really all of my money come from these these businesses online and then what i'm doing is i've been trading on the side trying to you know get the trading thing figured out um learning other people's strategies online and from what i understand you know like i said in my other videos which i'm gonna leave in the little little eye box up in the in the right hand corner is that i had to learn my own way to really survive because when you you know if you overseas you pretty much just have to make just enough to survive i mean people over here in this country and these other countries these asian countries they don't really make a lot of money like that so like for the most part um if you can make a hundred dollars a day then you can survive over there like they don't see no hundred dollars a day so if you can make a hundred dollars a day online you beat the game you can be over there you're free so first focus on making a hundred dollars a day then try to figure out what like what what you could do to make a hundred dollars a day online and then try to get to two hundred dollars a day and then just do that for six months straight to almost a year and try to make sure you figured every possible thing that could go wrong with that and if you pull it off for a whole year which is what i did like i practiced making this money online for two or three years and then i ended up flying out of there i left arizona and i went to you know philippines and asia and shanghai i went all of these places because I knew that I could afford to do it once I um, had the money that I knew I was gonna make. Now there's times where you over there and things just go wrong, like my T-Mobile, they wanted to shut my phone off because they like, you've been roaming for six months, so you can't, you know, you broke the terms of service, you know. So they wanted to turn my phone off and I had to like decide, okay, do I want my business to get shut down because my cell phone number is my only number that my clients know. So I had to rush home for stuff like that and you know since then they changed their rules you got to buy a sim card if you're going to be over there for that amount of time um it's a lot of things like uh, websites that you can't get on because you overseas and now you got to get a vpn and you got to try to go around it. it's just a lot of stuff so i'm gonna make more videos about that if y'all want me to leave a comment below um, i hope you like this video i hope you found it very informative 
And, uh, you know, this is me in Malaysia right here. This is one of my favorite, favorite spots. This is one of my highlights because I was I was up on this rooftop and I just thought this was like the most beautiful scene in Asia that I saw like my own two eyes. And I just I can't wait to go back to Malaysia and I can't wait to just try like Dubai and other places like that. But if you guys really like this video, let me know in the comments below um, if you have any questions, any business questions, anything like that. Let me help you so we can all do this together. And you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button and thumb up the like button. Make sure you hit the uh, bell. All right. Peace. About being on islands all over the world because of digital marketing.